Hey everybody, I'm Danny and this is my better half. Donna. <laughs> and we are forever dreaming. So I want to start this video off by saying this is not a woe is us video. We just want to explain to you what we've been going through in the last two weeks. So we were down at our beach house in Hernando Beach and we got wiped out by uh, Hurricane Helene. Mm -hmm. I always have a hard time remembering how to pronounce that. Um, so we want to kind of give you an idea of what we've been going through. And at this moment, we are in Gainesville, Florida at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, we evacuated for Hurricane Milton. Uh, so we're going to spend the next roughly 72 hours here waiting for the storm to pass and getting basically the all clear to get back. And what I mean by the all clear to get back is that for the last almost two weeks, we've been doing nothing but uh, cleanup uh, and there's debris everywhere um, everybody's basically taken their lives and put it at the curb of the road it's the best way to describe it is that all my all of our friends ask us what are y'all going through I said, it's like watching a, di a disaster movie um, so with the all clear of getting back because of the winds and everything all the trash that's at the curb of the road is going to be everywhere so the last thing we want to do is try to get through there and then run over nails and boards and all that other kind of stuff. So we're going to probably hang out here till Friday. Um, I would like to try to get try to make it back by Friday so we can start cleaning up all over again with Hurricane Milton. So we're at Bass Pro Shop. They've been very accommodating, mm -hmm. and uh, um, we got a really pretty good spot and. Um, all I can say is that it, it sucks, but we're better off than a lot of people because the only thing that we didn't lose during the first hurricane was our truck, camper, and truck. Um, because we evacuated to Lakeland, Florida to go to our friend's house for that one. When we came back, that was a different story. We had initially planned on staying for the hurricane. Um, because it was only supposed to be like a six or eight foot surge and we thought we'd be okay But then all of a sudden they started calling for an eight to twelve foot surge We didn't want to risk the truck campers being at the house and it getting flooded, too. Well, we learned a lot about This weather prediction stuff is like she said they'd call for a six to ten Surge and then after that it was an eight to twelve and then when it started getting closer They didn't even talk about surge anymore. They talked about water over ground and we're like, what the hell is water over ground? And when they're talking about 10 feet, 12 feet water over ground, we're looking at each other. Is that like the road? It's going to be 10 feet. And yeah, that's basically what happened. Yeah, scary. And uh, so we left about six hours before the storm. We left. That was a Tuesday, Thursday. Wasn't it a Thursday? Yeah. It was a Thursday when it happened. I'm sorry. Everything's just bunched up. We left Thursday at like 3 o'clock. The storm, 3 p.m. The storm hit. At, or be, between the uh, started around 11 p.m. so we barely got out and all I can tell you is this is that an EOG truck will handle 50 to 75 mile an hour winds because we were driving when we were evacuating the first one and this thing wasn't rocking at all man I was like this is pretty badass but this thing handled the winds really well um, so that's what this this story is about again we are very fortunate that we have our health our that's dog right. is good our cat is good all of our neighbors are fine. Everybody lost everything, but nobody that we know had any bad stuff happen. Um, just just property. Um, but what we're in Hernando Beach, basically, the best thing to describe it is it basically got wiped out. So we were in a single story uh, house, and that's pretty much, you'll see in this video, it's pretty bad. Uh, if you've ever gone through anything like this, put it in the comments. Let us know because we're still learning. For the last two weeks, that's all we've been doing is uh, clean up and dealing with uh, insurance, insurance companies. And I can tell you right now, we are not sponsored by nobody in insurance. But Geico, Johnny on the spot. Progressive, eh. So we had our truck insured with Geico and our bikes in insured with Progressive. And two weeks later, we're still dealing with progressive on the on the motorcycles and the house insurance that's a different thing and don't even mention fema because nobody knows what that word means down here because there ain't no fema uh but i'm not going to get into politics right now 
Um, Fortunately, we had flood insurance. Yeah. We didn't have insurance on the contents, the furniture and all of our personal stuff, but we did have flood insurance. Yeah. So the bad things about it is that you, you would not believe the looting and the scavengers. So what I mean by that is, okay, so you have to take out all your flooded appliances and you put it next to the road. And then you have what they call junkers. That's the term that they use. And they'll come by and they're like, hey, can we take your refrigerator? And, like, and you're like, yeah, take it because that gives you more room to put stuff at your curb. It really is. It's just because you run out of room. You, picture your whole house submerged. And then everything you own in that house, you have to put at the curb. Everything. So when they're coming by, we're looking for refrigerators and stoves and all your appliances. They, they, they go. They make money. The guy's saying they make $1,000 a day getting junk. All right. More power to them. The worst part about it is after like the three or four days go by, you have people just raiding, going through your trash mm -hmm. at the curbs, looking for anything. And then I, I they was, make a mess. Yeah, and I was flabbergasted. And they were like, there'd be a TV. You'll see in the video. There's TV on a on a on a on a, on a stand. And a guy asked me, he says, "Hey man, does TV work?" And I'm like. If it works, why the hell would I have it out of the street? I couldn't believe it. I, stupid questions, man. And it, it was ridiculous. But you have to watch what you have because people would know that you got wiped out. And all the houses are wide open. There's houses that were just completely, they just have a left and right wall and a roof. Gone. But uh, it, the neighbors pulled together. I will say that, you know, the mm. neighbors all pulled together. The, the police were phenomenal. I know I, I'm talking with my hands and shaking the camera. I'm sorry. The, the police were phenomenal. Um, we live in a, what they call Old Florida. It's a small boating community right on the Gulf of Mexico. And um, it's a really nice area. She didn't want to put this part in the video, but they actually set up public bathrooms and public showers and a public laundry uh, on, on an empty piece of property. And that was done through the state. So you, you could go take a shower, you could use the bathroom, and you could do your laundry. But they had people bringing in foods, dinners, yeah, breakfast. People would be walking waters. down the street giving out, you know, Papa John's and uh, pizza, bottles of water. Um, the community really, really got together with everything. Um, I, I don't wish this on anybody. We never thought it would happen to us. Um, the area that we lived in hasn't been hit from a hurricane in 30, 40 years, and uh, we've gotten hit twice. And well, no, this is the we got Debbie, the first one, then Helene, and then now Milton, all within two months. Yep. No and damage with Debbie. No, Debbie, we had water come up, but no damage. But we wanted to show a video of kind of what we've been going through so people can kind of see what to expect with this kind of devastation. Um, but like I said, it's not a woe as us. We're still good. We're still RVing. Uh, and I, we still love life. Um, it yep. sucks that, you know, all your personal belongings and everything are gone. But, you know, all that. It's so weird how we lived such a minimalistic life. And then all of a sudden we bought a house. Because we were RVing before we bought the house. And then you buy stuff <laughs> to fill the house up. It's like, we're never doing that again. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, um but uh, we're learning, and we're still we're still happy, and I love my bride with all my heart, and um, that's just what we wanted to talk to everybody about. We're blessed. We're thankful. Yeah. So that's we're finding all. joy in the the little things these days. Yeah, it's called solar. That's what we're finding <laughs> joy. In. <laughs> Get solar. <laughs>
as high as possible in case we got a foot or two inside the house. We put the, the sofa table and the end tables, everything up on tables. We even used pavers under the dining table to get it lifted up some. This is a picture of our barriers and our tarp that we put on the garage to try to keep the water out, which to no avail because the water was four feet. We only went up about three feet, but it's never been that high before. Last year, it only got up to the garage door entrance. We evacuated to a friend's house and about one o'clock in the morning, we got a picture from the neighbors with this boat in our front yard and the water was already about three feet high. This is the aftermath where the water blew out the garage door. The golf cart was still there, but the seat had floated away. We had the neighbor's boat still in the driveway when we got home. Yeah, we had to get a tow truck, get it moved. This is the motorcycles inside the garage with the Ranger. Everything in the garage was totaled. The Ranger, the motorcycles, everything. And the electric bikes. If you have electric bikes and they get salt water, get them out of the house ASAP because they will start a fire right away. A neighbor's house caught on fire because of their electric bicycle. This is the, the washer and dryers floated away. And this is the refrigerator. Refrigerators float. And if you notice, it blocked the access getting to the house. And this is where the truck basically kept the, the refrigerator from floating around. And this is the water line on the outside. It shows about four feet of level. This is the inside of the house. On the right side, the wall blew out, so there was a hole between the wall and the garage. You can see where the couch is in the hallway, and that's not where we left it. You can see where everything just kind of floated around. Credenzas that were really heavy just floated around and ended up in different spots in the house. The refrigerator, just like the one in the garage, tilted over and just floated around the kitchen. The, we got water inside all of the drawers. There's water just still standing in the silverware drawer. The windows for the sliding glass doors, they have water in them still. Yeah, it's crazy how everything just, just floated around the house, even with all our preps. This um, couch was on top of a table, but the water got a foot higher than the table, so the couch is still ruined. This was the TV stand that just ended up laying down on the ground, and you can see all the debris on the floor. In our master bedroom, we put as much as we could on top of the bed, but it didn't really seem to help because the sleep number mattress is soaking wet. In both the bathrooms, the cabinets filled with water and sewage came up from the pipes. You can see in the tub just how nasty it is. Even with bleach, it wouldn't come out. This is the other bathroom, still sewage all over the floor. And this was our guest room. Our furniture is like peeling away. The things that were on the end of the bed just floated around and the door on the closet just came off the track. The bin on the floor had a family pictures. And the green table you see had all of our Canada, Alaska trip uh, planning that we've been doing for the last six months. Everything ruined and gone. The only thing that I was able to say was which it, what, is whatever was on Trip Wizard. There's a hole in the wall you can see there where it just goes straight through from the house to the tiki bar. Our closets got about a foot of water up onto the clothes, so all of our clothes had to be washed. This was the range that we had just gotten about two months ago. And our pool heater that we got when we first moved in was um, drowned. We had three of these deck boxes and they floated off and we still have not been able to find them. Yeah, so this is a uh, motors for our kayaks that are supposed to be waterproof. And uh, I guess they're not, as you can tell. This is our 86 inch TV. It's really sad to see it not work. And this is another TV that we had in the house. We lost three TVs total. My PlayStation, my stress reliever was gone. This is the Roomba automatic robots um, scrubber and it was awesome. This is my margarita machine. I had all kinds of accessories for it, but now I don't have a machine anymore. And this is the Life Pro exercise machine that I had, it's gone. And we lost most of the recording equipment that we used for the YouTube videos. Lost a computer, and this is a light that we lost. We lost uh, microphones. Your, and your DJI. We lost just about everything that you yeah. can imagine. These are our, our, our mild posts and some other books that we were using for our Alaska Canada trip. You know, this stuff all adds up in the money, and it's, it's all gone. It's, it's really sad. I had ordered all this stuff and been using it for a while. These are our electronic tools that uh, got wiped out. Pretty much any, everything in the garage four feet down 
is gone and a lot of it washed away because it when the garage blew out it was gone it went down to somebody else's house these are some of the tools that we lost we lost everything motorcycles waiting for the progressive to pick them up this is the furniture that we have left it all fits in the bed of a f-150 so this is the dumpster full of all the drywall and cabinets and shower tile and this is our pile of unsalvageable stuff, including our 86 inch TV. Even the grill got damaged, rusty. There was my beautiful bedroom furniture that I like so much. And there is the dining room table. We took the legs off to fit it better. My chairs were so pretty. They had a teal seat, but the cushions were all wet, so there was no salvaging those. There's my um, tuft and needle mattress from the guest bedroom. And underneath the flooring and chairs is the sleep number mattress that we really enjoyed. And those are the yellow things that we try to keep the water out of the house. Okay, so kitchen, cabinets, and countertop, and sink are all gone now. There's lots of mold going down here where the dishwasher was, and the sink was. back of the bathroom that's in the garage. Okay, now the drop ceiling is out of the bathrooms. So you can see straight up into the attic. Okay, one thing I can say about Geico is they were Johnny on the spot. They totaled out the Ranger because it was completely submerged. And we went to the local Ford dealership and Donna got to pick out the color and everything pretty much of the new truck that we got. Um, all I can say is, is that the new dealership and Geico were good. So as you probably are aware, Hurricane Milton followed right after Hurricane Helene, so we had to evacuate again. We went to Bass Pro Shops in Gainesville. Florida, and then uh, we're, this is us going into it. We left early in the morning Tuesday to get out early, and I'm glad we did because this place filled up. It's like a refugee camp, it really is. We did a YouTube short on it, um, but I used Google Maps to kind of scope it out, to, uh, the satellite view, to see, because we got a dog, as everybody pretty much knows, to see if there was areas where I could walk the dog and we would be comfortable. So Bass Pro Shop allows RVs, and they've been very accommodating to everyone here. I can't say enough about Bass Pro Shop. But this is us getting in, and this is about, what, about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, and you can tell there's already people uh, uh, boondocking here. And today, when we're doing this video, is Wednesday, and we're waiting for the storm to hit. And last night, this place filled up. It's, it's crazy how many people are here. But we found this great spot, and this is us parked right here, and that's it. Mm -hmm.